Welcome to this special episode on Novo TV. Uh, today is the 27th day of uh, February 2023. I know most of us Nigerians, we're just uh, trying to get over the 2023 election, which was two days ago. Uh, but as a result, keep rolling in, we begin to notice a lot of things, a lot of agitation here and there. So today we'll be looking at these results and the challenges facing Nigeria, especially from INEC not being able to coordinate the results the way they promised us. With me to talk about this is my very good friend, Mr. Chidi Peters. Chidi Peters, yeah, you're thank welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Noble, and of course, Noble at the Division Fund. Thank you so much. We'll just go straight to what we're talking about. Before now, INEC told us they were 100% ready. The Beavers was ready. Everything was ready to ensure that immediately this election result are collated in their center has been transmitted to uh, INEC head office, but we've been having challenges. They've not been able to do that. What do you think is the problem with INEC? Uh, let me quickly uh, post the position of a uh, philosopher, a uh, cum theologian, a uh, professor cum laude of uh, one of the best uh, Nigerian formators and African formators, very, very much, Sana John Bosco, I can be said that I quote. I can't delay this, I can't forge. If with all the assurances that INEC have given us in the past near one year, that they were going to have credible election and they're going to transmit results from the polling units, the outcome is what I'm seeing now. The outcome is delayed. That means a lot of things have gone under waters that Nigeria must find. There's no way such thing will crop up at this next time. At this end time, we begin to have issues of the server not working, we're going to have issues of slow and so and so on, so forth. We have thought that I next have to surround this uh, project before selling it to Nigeria. And within the period they have to surround it, we have thought that if, I, okay, what that, I didn't mean that, for example, now, Lagos State that has close to 10 million people voters registered, if they have come out all, that means Nigeria will have crashed because what you have in Lagos State is about less than 1 million five. No, I think they so, came out in Lagos. There were a lot of disruption. There's a lot of fights. No, right, right, what, what, yes. what I'm saying is that if the volume of Nigerian that registered during the last previous years had come out, it means that it will take us ad infinitum for us to transmit this result. So what I neck have no excuse in this regard. No matter the apology, no matter owing on the responsibility of their failure, they have failed Nigerian and they have failed Nigerian. And Nigerians are not happy about it. And they should remember that this election is not about Nigeria, it's all about African continent, it's all about the world watching to see what comes out of Africa, what from the of Africa. Uh, well, um, I think the challenge is, like you said, you tried, you quoted uh, uh, Akam, but I wouldn't know if a lot of things has gone out of the bridge, like you said, but I think uh, a lot calls for question because I can see the first result that was declared is out of Ekiti State. There was no airport in Ekiti State to bring the result, but even states, uh, places that are closer to the center of the seat of power, even Abuja result was not ready, but Ekiti State was ready. And in that case, it was discovered that the, that thing was dated 20th February. It has seemed something was wrong with the result. Now what I say, you think... water has passed under the bridge. Because you cannot tell me that the number of accredited voters, when you begin to share it, you have an excess of close to 11,000. Where did they come from? You're correct, because we saw the list, the registered voters and the number of voters was... Where did they come was, from? Was, and now, how come INEC that have tested the machine were now beginning to have issues where in a state or in a plume unit, the ballot paper for presidency is not available, but that doesn't show assembly is available? How come that after the election to transmit the results that INEC told us that you don't need any network, that once you snap it and you step a little bit uh, distant from away from where you have voted, the two will transmit immediately. How come a lot of them were not un unable to transmit at that particular point in time? How come logistics was a problem when we have had this election we have, we have planned for the past four years? How come there are a lot of discrepancies in the result really so far? So when we say a lot of water passed under the bridge, water passed under the bridge, but I'm not saying it has been rigged, I'm not saying that it has been forged, but all I'm saying is that a lot of water passed under the bridge and Nigerians are questioning. You're correct. Nigerians are questioning INEC. Uh, the eyes of the world is on Nigeria as the results keep rolling out. Let me just take you two of the results. Two of the results. One is that of Lagos State. Labour Party winning in Lagos State and Labour Party winning in Enugu State. What do you think really happened? 
Yes, I, I keep telling you, a P2B is a, a four-story Conway, no matter how you want to put it. No matter how you want to adjust the whole program, he's a four-story Conway. He has made a statement, and Nigeria have known that he has made a statement. You can see in Enugu, in Enugu say, for example, now, the whole National Assembly was cleared, mutually by, by a new party that came from nowhere. The, the House of Assemblies, all of them, apart from one, that were out of uh, Enugu West, Enugu, Nkano West, not that, that was returned, every other person, went out labor party are in the senatorial the same thing even the governor who was contested for senatorial is out of course in kaduna we have has a representative of course in Ebony, of course in abia and the thing is taken down that way i can tell you that he has made a statement the structureless the political party are not to begin to have structures so he has made a statement whether he wins or not which we believe is going to win because it's too early to decide because now we're not looking at the total vote Count. We're not looking at the people who are the person that's able to meet the required twenty five percent. It's okay. Well, thank you so much. Like you said, we hope uh, the best candidate wins. That is for us. That's what we believe. The best candidate wins. Uh, but I would like to ask: Do you think there's any way we can remedy this situation? Is there any way INEC can remedy this situation? Uh, before you answer this, I wanted to just I want to take you through something. In the River State, we heard some audio of a polling officer said he couldn't. He couldn't transmit. He was asked to transmit through a blind back door that they knew is not life. And when he got to the polling center, the results were changed. We heard similar things in Lagos State. We heard similar things in Oshun State. You understand? Results are being changed. Do you think there's anything INEC can do? Some people were disenfranchised. Some people did not vote. You understand? What do you think INEC needs to do to remedy the situation? Yeah, no, but sometimes we make the white man that created the computer to look. To, to look unwise to look useless the, the beaver is a, is a simple android mechanism where when you thumb prints or facial recognition it pop up your recognition what stop them from using the same beaver to do the voting how very simple you separate another software into that program where when you are credited you press it you hope the whole political party to come up in that same beaver it's like a laptop then you thumb print straight in that beaver in that so called beaver it picks it up and upload it straight so I wonder why they cut off that software. If they don't have that software, they should know that you, well, you go that did that thing, have that thing encompassed. If you can walk into a bank with your with your ATM card, which you are given instanta, as no reason why we cannot be given voters card instanta. If you can walk into a bank and bank will give you an ATM, and they say the average in that ATM is five thousand naira, and you went to a particular bank and would order five thousand throughout the whole day, there's no other bank you will go that will break that thing. They should not call bankers and find out what, what they are doing. If that should be the case, then that means that one man, one vote is possible with bank software. That means when you have when you voted with your with your card, you can't vote again. No, what I mean, considering this situation now, what do you think I need to do now? They have called for cancellation. And, and calling for cancellation, we are not saying totally it is overruled. We are still watching, we are still looking. And INEC is instead of dilemma. I understand the pressure INEC is facing. That instead of dilemma because of some disgruntled politicians that have decided to thwart the election. So we are still watching. But I'm quoting that after the election, Nigeria is going to have one of the highest integration we have ever had in election period, in this particular election. Advice for Nigerians as to watch, well, as to watch the results. What calm. do you think? Let's be calm. Who told us that somebody from nowhere will be able to win Lagos? We won't believe that. So let us be tensed up. Let's be calm. Let's be prayerful. Let's watch as it unfold. But I can tell you, no violence. So anyone who is trying to escape violence, should please don't escape violence. All of them are Nigerians. All of them have weak agenda and better agenda for Nigerians. All of them are the best Nigeria can afford. At the same time, no violence. It's okay. Uh, we've heard the, the advice from Dr. Chidi Peters. It's not left for each and every one of us. For INEC, the world is watching. And for everybody, like he said, we should be calm and watch. Nobody believe that uh, somebody will come to Lagos and uh, win uh, the ruling party in Lagos. But that was done by Labour Party. That gives us hope. There's going to be hope. Uh, so we we'll watch the result as it unfolds. And remember, stay tuned to Noble TV. As the result unfolds, we're going to keep you abreast of what is happening. From us at Noble TV, my name is Noble Arinze. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.